Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, promised a viewer a little while ago I was going to do a uh, tutorial about uh, sampling um, in Reason using Recycle and stuff. Uh, so I thought I'd make a quick one. By the way, quick update, I have selected uh, the, the first subscriber track I'm going to be working on, but uh, I'll get to that in the next video. But uh, let's get to this. Um, this is a track by Jeff Beck, a uh, really great instrumentalist guitar player guy from the 70s. Maybe you don't know, maybe you do. So this is the section I really like. Now it goes on for a while and it's a really, you know, really intense song. He's, he's pretty badass as far as guitar players go and melody writers. Um, but uh, uh, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just uh, I'm going to use maybe four of those chords in that whole progression. And I'm not even sure if, if this is going to work in context, but I, I just really I love that uh, the vibe on that part of the track. So the first thing to do, obviously, this is kind of uh, uh, editing and sampling 101, is to find the, the BPM, the four bar loop in your sample. So I'm going to chop it off right here, and now we have to try to, um, we know this is a, a pretty close loop right now, so all we need to do is make sure it's four bars and uh, we're locked into our tempo. So let's see, let's try this thing at, oh, I don't know, looks like 96 might be pretty good, let's see. So I'm going to loop at 96 BPM. Okay, you know, for our purposes, that's pretty close. Let's export this um, four bar and fly it into Recycle uh, so we can turn it into a Rex file. Okay, now we've got the wave loaded into uh, Recycle, so now we can turn it into a Rex file, and all we're gonna do is basically find the hit points on the ones. So, okay, so basically all I've done is I've uh, marked where uh, I felt um, uh, there was a good impact uh, in terms of the a new chord uh, hitting and stuff so because um, that usually helps a little better when you're composing the beat with these samples Anyway, I'm going to export it as a Rex. Uh, we'll see what happens with it. Uh, no guarantees, though. It might come out totally whacked, but this is usually the process I take. All right, guys, I've got it imported in a reason. Uh, here is the drum loop I'm using. Nothing special, straight out of Reason stock library, just to make it easy, uh, just a Rex loop. And then I already have our Jeff Beck uh, Rex uh, file loaded up it says JB here and here you can see all the slices I made in recycle now um, if you notice I have the BPM at 108 and the reason I have it at 108 is because I actually ended up uh, pitching the sample down from its original C so let me go back real quick if you remember our tempo was 96 the original one and the C is right here so it would basically, if I laid it into the track here, sound like this playing with that beat. Now notice it sounds really weird and syncopated. Um, I never use samples uh, when I do use them. I never use them uh, as the original four bars. I actually use the slices and use the Dr. Rex uh, looper here as my instrument. So I'm going to delete what I just laid down and I'm actually, you see the virtual keyboard here? I did this so you guys could see what I'm doing with the keys and I also selected uh, the MIDI uh, function here so every time I hit a key you see that I'm hitting that first uh, slice of the Rex file. Here's the second slice. 
third slice, right? And so basically what I've done is um, I decided that uh, I wanted the BPM to be a little bit more upbeat and I put it to 108. But then I noticed that at 108, the piano arpeggios within the sample weren't working. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not on. It wasn't until I pitched it down a step, I think it was, that um, I felt like the sample had changed enough because it was pitched down and it sounded a little bit darker, and I just think it worked better with the rhythm. So basically now all I do is I just play with the slices as instruments now that I've got them locked in on, on the BPMs. Let me throw a compressor on this thing. Use my favorite parallel compression here to really squeeze the sample, give it a little bit of juice. There we go. You see, so I'm just... I'm just hitting, I'm just hitting the notes until I get a cool pattern. So something like that is pretty cool. And anyway, you get the general idea. You basically use them as instruments, and um, by all means, feel free to pitch it up, pitch it down. Uh, but that's essentially how, how I do sampling in Reason. Um, I'll catch you guys later. I got that subscriber track one series coming up. Really stoked. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.